Grace, mercy, and peace be unto everyone. Good evening uh, to the entire world, wherever you are around the world on this evening. Glory to God. Uh, we just want to bless upon the Lord. Uh, we bless the Lord. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and all that is within me. We bless his holy name. Uh, yes, good evening, my beautiful sister. Uh, glory to God. Yes, it's April down there. Uh, glory to God. Yes, east of us in Canada. God bless you, my sister. God bless each and every one of you. Uh, trust that you had a wonderful Sunday today. Uh, glory to God. Yes, it is word day in the house. Glory to God. And uh, yours truly is here. I will be delivering the word. Uh, glory to God this evening. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. You know, earlier this week, I posed a question and I asked, uh, what are you anointed to do? Uh, glory to God. Yes, a few persons to, um, came by and, you know, uh, said they're anointed. I want to talk about that tonight. I want to talk about uh, to be anointed. What does it mean, uh, glory to God, when we say a man or woman of God is anointed? Uh, many persons said they're anointed, but to do what? Uh, glory to God. So we're going to talk about that tonight. Uh, yes, again, Chessie did a wonderful day today. I trust that you'll stick around. Uh, glory to God, because indeed there's a word of encouragement for you tonight. God bless you. I thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Uh, let us uh, play a little bit of this. I trust that uh, uh, you have decided to make Jesus your choice uh, comes what may. Nobody told us uh, that this road was going to be easy. Uh, glory to God. But um, we know with him, all things are possible. All right. Keep it locked. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, yes, we bless him tonight. And some folks uh, choose and forget about and forget about their soul. Yeah. serving my God, yes. I have made up my mind and I've decided to make Jesus my choice. Yes, he is indeed my choice. Uh, yes, the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hill, our hard to climb, glory to God, yes. I started out a long time ago what I've made up my mind. Yes. Yes. Where no time to spend home. I am so safe and secure. I've decided to make Jesus my choice. Have you decided to make him your choice this evening? Again, top of the evening to everyone. Uh, glory to God, yes. Some folks would rather have uh, that big house. And some folks choose the treasures. They're so one soul we have. These things hinder me. No from serving. My God, yes. Uh, yes, once again, welcome to Word Day. Uh, it is uh, your host, uh, Vivian, here out of Toronto, Canada on this year's Sunday evening. 
uh, glory to God. Yes, we come to give God praise. Uh, we come to exalt Him. We come to magnify Him. Uh, yes, we come to lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Yes, the all-powerful, uh, the ever-present God, the God who is more than enough. Uh, glory to God. Yes, it is to Him uh, we come to give praise. It is to Him uh, we come to magnify. It is to Him we come to glorify. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is my choice. Uh, glory to God. Yes, the road is rough and the going gets tough. And the hills are hard to climb, glory to God, yes. I started out a long time ago. But I made up, I made up my mind, yes. The Jesus strong arms, we're no temptus. I am safe and secure, we blessed him. I have decided to make Jesus, hallelujah. He is my choice, top of the evening. Good evening uh, to those of you down there in Jamaica. Uh, glory to God, Trinidad, Tobago, Canada, England. We bless the Lord, God bless you. Uh, yes, Minister Ricardo, in the name of Jesus, greetings uh, to you and your beautiful wife, glory to God and your daughter, uh, hallelujah. These things, I won't let them hinder me. Blessings, uh, yes, to Pastor uh, Letla. Uh, glory to God, I see you there passing by. I have made up my mind, Lord God, yes. He is my choice, yes, uh, my choice indeed. You know the road is rough and the going is, yes. And the hills are hard to climb, hallelujah. I started out, uh, glory to God. Yes, once again, welcome to Word Day. My name is Vivian, uh, glory to God. Yes, coming to you live from out of Toronto, Canada. Uh, yes, I have a word for you, a word for us. Uh, glory to God. Yes, as I said on earlier, uh, many persons says they're anointed. My question is anointed to do what? Uh, glory to God. Yes, what are you anointed to do? What does it mean to be anointed? Uh, glory to God. You want to talk about that for a little bit tonight? Yes, keep it locked. Stay with us, uh, glory to God, because indeed I trust that you'll be encouraged uh, tonight. It's one thing to be anointed, but uh, yes, it's hard work to maintain it. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Blessing to uh, Sister Darren, thank you for joining us here on Word Day. Uh, yes, it is Word Day in the house every Sunday by God's grace around this time. Keep it locked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Houses, you are anointed, really, to do what? To sit down? Uh, go to God. Anointed to gossip or tear down? Uh, what are you anointed to do? Yeah. Yes. Uh, to be anointed, what does that mean? Oh, we bless the Lord. We are going to get into the word tonight. So glory to God. I have decided to make Jesus my choice. He is my choice tonight. You know the road is rough and the going gets tough and the hills Oh, we bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we bless his name tonight. Uh, we glorify him tonight. And we exalt him tonight. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. In his strong arms. Uh, we're no tempest. Uh, yes, I am safe and secure. Uh, yes. Oh, my sister April, I am doing well. I uh, trust that you're doing well, too. Oh, yes. We bless on him tonight. Uh, he is indeed an awesome God. These clothes I am... Uh, they are tattered and torn. Jesus, I 
I have decided uh, to make Jesus. He is my choice. Oh, we bless his name. You know the road is rough and the going, yes, and the hills. Ah, uh, yes, hallelujah. Ah, uh, yeah, good evening. Ah, uh, yes, to uh, Sister June. Ah, uh, glory to God, welcome. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Ah, uh, glory to God. Uh, yes, we want to bless the Lord this evening. Uh, yes, we want to give him praise and want to give him glory and we want to give him honor. God is indeed an awesome God. He is uh, the sovereign Lord. And just please indulge me. Uh, glory to God. Yes, to give my God praise. Uh, glory to God. Yes, uh, to give him all the glory and all the honor that belongs unto him. Uh, he is indeed a great God. He is the awesome God. He is uh, the almighty God. Come on. He is uh, the God who is more than enough. There is none like him. No one uh, could compare themselves to him. He is great and greatly to be praised, worthy to be exalted, worthy uh, to be lifted up. Oh, God, God, we just want to shabak him. Uh, glory to God. We want to let him know how much, uh, yes, we appreciate him. He is a good God. Uh, glory to God. There is none like him. No one uh, could compare themselves to him. He is God all by himself. And we come on this evening, uh, glory to God, to lift our voice. Uh, we come in this evening to magnify him. Uh, glory to God, we come uh, to bow down and worship the king. Uh, yes, he is the king of kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is uh, the all-powerful, the ever-present God. He is uh, the way maker. He is uh, the God who is more than enough. He is our Jehovah Jireh. He is our Jehovah Tiskanu. Come on, somebody. He is, uh, yes, the Prince of Peace. He is uh, the Rose of Sharon. There is none like him. No one uh, could compare themselves to him. He is great and greatly to be praised. Yes, we search uh, the heavens high and the earth below. Uh, glory to God. We can find no one like him. Uh, glory to God. Yes, uh, he is the God who changeth not. Uh, glory to God. He is uh, the rock of our salvation. He is our commander in chief. He is uh, the true vine. Glory to God. He is uh, the God who uh, yes, was in the beginning. Yes, and in the end. Oh, glory to God. The God in Genesis and Revelation. Mighty God. He is uh, the God that does not sleep and does not slumber. His eyes run it to and fro. He's ever present. He is in everything. Uh, glory to God. He is full of wisdom and power and might. Uh, glory to God. Yes, he's holy. Uh, glory to God. And we just want to lift our voice and we want to give him praise. We want to lift our voice and we want to worship him. We lift our voice and we shabak him. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Uh, glory to God because he is almighty God, uh, the restorer of our soul. He is uh, the God who sustains. Oh, glory to God. He is. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Our righteous and this afternoon, uh, we want to thank him. Uh, we thank him for today. We thank him. Uh, glory to God for the blessings of today. We thank him uh, for the protection of today. Oh, glory to God. We thank him uh, that we are still uh, amongst the living. Oh, glory to God. Clothed in our right minds. Almighty God, in this hour, uh, we're still breathing. Uh, glory to God. In this hour, we still have the desire to give him praise and we give him glory when we think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us. Our soul cries out. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, for saving. Thank you for redeeming. Uh, glory to God. Yes, thank you for healing. Uh, thank you for delivering. Oh, uh, my God, if it had not been for him on our side, where would we be? Uh, glory to God. Yes, where would we be if it had not been for his grace? Where would we be if it had not been for his mercy? Where would we be if it had not been for his love and kindness? Uh, uh, glory to God. His love and kindness is so far better uh, than life in itself. And that's why in this moment, our lips shall praise him. Uh, thus shall we bless him. Uh, glory to God. Yes, uh, we come this evening. Oh, glory to God with a heart of gratitude, uh, with a heart of thanksgiving. Oh, glory to God. We thank him. Uh, yes, that he is uh, the potter and we're nothing 
but a lump of clay. Uh, we thank him that he is uh, the true vine and we are just branches. Almighty God, we thank him. Uh, yes, and he is the God who sustains. Uh, yes, glory to God. Yes, we thank him. Uh, glory to God. Yes, for loving us. Uh, we thank him for the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, the blood that was shed for the remissions of our sins. We thank him uh, for loving us. Uh, we thank him for choosing us. Uh, glory to God. Yes, we thank him. Uh, glory to God for all that he has done, the blessings, uh, glory to God, yes, the protection. We just want to thank him uh, for being God. Uh, and we come to let him know uh, that he is an awesome God. He is the all-powerful God. He is our shepherd. He is our way maker. He is uh, the miracle working God. He is our Jehovah Jireh. Oh, glory to God. He is God all by himself. Uh, glory to God. Yes, uh, he is the creator of the universe. Uh, there's nothing that exists that he does not know about. Uh, uh, Lord, he is in everything. He knows everything about me and about you. Uh, he is the author and the finisher of your life. Oh, glory to God. Yes. So we come to give him praise. Uh, we come to exalt him. We come, uh, glory to God, to magnify our king. How excellent is our God in all the earth. Let the earth rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, glory to God. We thank him for the spirit. Uh, yes, that Holy Spirit. Uh, yes, who is given unto us to lead and to guide and to direct us into all truth. Uh, glory to God, the spirit of the Lord uh, that will empower us to do the things uh, that please him. Uh, and I thank him for his presence right now. Uh, and we just give him preeminence uh, to do that which he seems fit to do, uh, uh, to have his way. Uh, glory to God, yes. Uh, to walk alongside every person under the sound of my voice. Uh, uh, glory to God, I pray this evening. Uh, glory to God, that preaching will be easy in the name of Jesus. Till the soil of the hearts of your people, oh, glory to God. I come against every foul of the air uh, that will try to snatch this word. Uh, glory to God, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that it will bring healing, that it bring deliverance. Uh, glory to God, that it will set the captives free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God. Uh, as I yield my vessel, Lord, uh, as I give myself to your service uh, uh, today, use me as you seem fit uh, in the name of Jesus. Use me as an oracle, almighty oh, God. God. Uh, so I thank you, Lord, uh, for the anointing for this assignment. Uh, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and through the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that it will flow uncontaminated and unhindered. I pray for boldness, my God. I pray for clarity in the name of Jesus. Father God, I know uh, that I cannot do nothing of myself, uh, uh, so I am depending upon you tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, so have your way, Lord. Uh, uh, let your will be done. Uh, I thank you for this platform form. I thank you, Lord God. Yes. Uh, yes. For those who will watch now, uh, those who will watch later and even months to come and years to come in the name of Jesus, my God. Let this word saturate uh, uh, glory to God in the name of Jesus, because uh, we know that your word uh, glory to God, it's spirit and it's life, uh, glory to God. So I thank you, Father. I give you praise and I give you glory. <coughs> Sorry. And I give you honor. Let your will be done today, uh, this evening, on this platform, uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you and we glorify you. Have your way in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Uh, blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Uh, glory to God. Once again, welcome to uh, Word Day. My name is Vivian. Uh, glory to God. And I am uh, honored and privileged to come before you uh, this evening. Uh, glory to God. It's nothing good that I have done. Uh, glory to God. Yes, but it's because of his grace and it's because it's of mercy and it's because of his loving kindness. Glory to God. Uh, so I just want to welcome those of you who are joining. Uh, glory to God. Welcome to our evening service uh, right here in Wheel Talk. Let all protocols be established. Uh, glory to God. As I'm not so much focusing on the chat uh, as I'm by myself, uh, glory to God. So I just don't want you to think I'm being rude, but let all protocols be established for those of you uh, who are coming on now. God is a good God. You know, I want to share something with you. Uh, you know, I, I worked today <clears throat> and, um, you know, I was on my way home from work and I said to myself, you know, I'd really like to attend it. I really like to go to a service. Honestly, I felt like I wanted to uh, go into the house of the Lord. Uh, you know, there's many of us who work on a Sunday, 
uh, glory to God. So it doesn't permit us to go into the house. Uh, you know, we might watch a few services online, but I really felt like I wanted to go somewhere, uh, you know, to just really sit back and just listen to a word. Uh, somewhere particularly that, you know, uh, maybe nobody knows me. You know, sometimes you just want to just go somewhere where nobody knows you. Uh, you know, you just want to go and just slip in and just get a word or, you know, hear some good worship, you know. Uh, so I made a few phone calls and, you know, it didn't happen. And I, and I drove home and I was sitting in my car and I was sitting there and, you know, I called the sister and I said, you know, do you know of anything? No, so, no night service in the city. Uh, no, nothing's going on. I called another sister, nothing. I called another sister. Nothing. And I said, I'm like, good God, you know what I'm saying? Like, here I am, you know, I, I want to get into the house of the Lord because I just want to, you know, anyways, I got out of my car and I came upstairs and I said to myself, Vivian, you know what? You have a responsibility. Guess what? You're going to do your own night service. You understand? Because I wasn't going to come on because I just wanted to get a break but guess what when we understand that there's a responsibility upon our lives as well it might not be in a building uh glory to god but i take this so serious uh glory to god because sometimes god watches how we we handle things uh glory to god yes uh, you know, how we handle the little things so we see. Because guess what? He has to watch and see how we commit uh, to the little things before he can take us on to the big things. Uh, glory to God. So you know what I did? I just said, you know what, Vivian, girl, go up yourself. You know, while I was in the shower, uh, you know, boop, I went into my reservoir. And, you know, this this word just came right to me. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. And also, I had asked the question this week, uh, glory to God, you're anointed, but to do what? Many times you hear people say, there goes an anointed man of God, or there goes an anointed woman of God. Yes, anointed to do what though? Uh, glory to God. What does it mean to be anointed? Uh, glory to God. Yes. What does it mean to be anointed? And who are the anointed ones? Uh, glory to God. So we're going to go there tonight. I'm trusting that I'll be able to finish it again. Uh, the Lord bless you. Uh, glory to God. You know, again, I just want to thank those of you who prayed for us while we're out on our mission field yesterday. Uh, glory to God. It's just a joy. Uh, yes, to be out there. I wish. And I was thinking too, by the way, when I was sitting in my car, I said, you know what? I have my speaker and my microphone. You know, just drive out and just plug in, uh, you know, the street corner and just, you know, do some praise and worship. Uh, glory to God. But here I am anyways, because again, uh, it is our regular uh, scheduled program and the Holy Spirit remind me of that. Uh, glory to God. Uh, so let's get into the word of the Lord uh, this evening. Again, let all protocols be established. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. For those of you who are joining us for the very first time, uh, my name is Vivian. I am the host and founder of Real Talk. Uh, glory to God. And I am in Toronto. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. So again, to be anointed, what does that mean? Uh, glory to God. I am going to be more on a teaching side tonight than on preaching side. Uh, glory to God. But then again, you know, those of you who know me, uh, the spirit will have his way when he seems fit. Uh, glory to God. So let's talk about it. You're anointed. To do what? Uh, glory to God. I read some of the response that I received. Uh, you know, somebody said, um, you know, they're anointed to, um, I think, write songs. I think one person responded. Uh, and yeah, there's a few response. I can't remember them now, but let's get in there. Uh, God anoints people, right? Who are the type of people he anoints? God anoints people that love him more than they love their own lives hmm. and love others than themselves. So guess what? Uh, you're anointed. I trust that you love the Lord more than you love your own life. And that you love others more than you love yourself. Uh, so guess what? If you find that, you know what? Uh, you're not too sure if you love the Lord. Uh, yes, you rather your own life. Uh, yes, than, than being with him or obeying him. And guess what? You don't love people. Uh, you understand? You don't love people. Uh, so uh, it tells me that if you don't love people, uh, glory to God, you cannot be anointed based on where we're going this evening. Uh, glory to God. One of the things we got to understand is this. We must understand, uh, glory to God, as we open our hearts to live, uh, glory to God. Uh, yes, to live or to love others. God's anointing flows through us. Uh, glory to God. So you've got to make up your mind that, listen, you're going to love people. 
We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. So if you don't love people, uh, glory to God. If you don't love others, if you don't love the Lord, uh, the flow that is supposed to be flowing through us, uh, you understand, will stop. Uh, glory to God. And then when that stops, we then now begin to grieve the Holy Spirit. And the Bible tells us not to grieve the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a thing. He is a person and he can be grieved. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, so I titled this, uh, glory to God, to be anointed. We bless the Lord. Now, to be anointed means, uh, you understand, sanctifying the individual, uh, individual ways to be in line with the teachings of Jesus Christ and the ways of the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, yes, let me say that. To, do, to be anointed means, uh, glory to God, our lives must be in line with the teachings of Jesus Christ and the ways of the Holy Spirit. So if your life is not in alignment with the teaching of Jesus Christ, if it's not in alignment with the ways of the Holy Spirit, then I question your anointing. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, let's go to the word. In the book of Luke, uh, yes, chapter four, I'm gonna read um, two verses here, uh, glory to God. So in the book of Luke chapter four, verses 18 to 19, uh, it reads, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. This is Jesus speaking. Because he has anointed me. Wow. So here we see that Jesus is making an announcement uh, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anointed me. He has anointed me to do what? Listen, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Oh, glory to God. To proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. Uh, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. Uh, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. I want to say this again. Uh, yes, you are just, uh, you can't just say you're anointed. You have to be anointed to do something. Uh, glory to God. You must understand it's just a cliche uh, to go around and say, oh, I'm an anointed woman of God. Uh, I'm an anointed to do what? Uh, glory to God. Jesus Christ himself had to know why he was anointed and he was making it clear uh, right here. Uh, Yes, he was anointed to preach the gospel to the poor. Uh, he was sent to heal the brokenhearted, uh, to proclaim liberty to the captives. Uh, glory to God, the recovery of sight to the blind, uh, to set at liberty uh, those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Again, I ask the question, uh, you are anointed to do what? We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, again, we say that we're anointed. Why? Why are we anointed, Lord to God? As we just read through these two verses, the anointing is given to preach the gospel to the poor. Are you preaching the gospel to the poor? Hmm. The anointing is given to heal and restore people, uh, glory to God. Are you healing and restoring people? Are you allowing God to work through you to do that? The anointing is given to what? Proclaim freedom to the captives. The anointing is given to do what? To open blind eyes. The anointing is given to do what? Set people free. The anointing flows in God's timing and proclaims God's timing. The anointing is given to bring the revelation of God's love to those who are seeking. So we got to understand when we are anointed, what does that mean? Uh, glory to God. And anything outside of this, uh, we can question one's anointed. Glory to God. Because this is what we are anointed to do. 
uh, glory to God. We're not anointed to get married. We're not anointed to buy house and car. We're not anointed to make more money. No, we are being anointed to preach the gospel to the poor, uh, glory to God, to heal and restore people, uh, to proclaim freedom to the captives, uh, to open the eyes of the blind spiritually, uh, glory to God, and even physically too, uh, glory, because it set people free, uh, glory to God. Yes, uh, yes, it flows in God's timing and proclaim God's timing. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. So again, I ask you the question, uh, you're anointing, but to do what? What are you doing that is proof that comes in alignment with Jesus Christ's teaching and alignment with the words of the Holy Spirit for you to say uh, that you're anointed? We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, to be anointed means you have received the spirit with power. Have you received the Holy Spirit with power? Uh, yes. Have you received the Holy Spirit with power? Because to be anointed means that you've received the Holy Spirit with power. Uh, glory to God. Remember, uh, yes, uh, the, 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 the disciples were told, uh, glory to God, to wait, uh, glory to God, wait in the upper room until you receive, uh, glory to God, yes, the Holy Spirit with power, uh, glory to God, yes, because guess what, uh, you cannot do anything without this power, uh, glory to God. We bless the name of the Lord. So I ask the question, have you received the Holy Spirit with power? Uh, to be anointed means uh, you have to be chosen for his purpose. Uh, glory to God. Do you understand the reason why you're chosen? What is the purpose? What's your purpose? And that's why it's good to go around and say, oh, I'm anointed. Anointed to do what? What is your purpose? What have you called to do? Uh, do you understand? And that's why, uh, glory to God, until you understand why you're anointed and for what purpose you are just existing, uh, you haven't started living your purpose yet. Oh, come on, somebody, we bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. So we got to understand, again, you are anointed, but to do what? We bless the name of the Lord. In the book of Luke, and I'm going to be touching a few scriptures, our uh, glory to God. In the book of Luke, chapter 6 and verse 19 to 20, it reads, And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for power went out from him and healed them all. Our uh, glory to God. Remember uh, why Jesus said he was anointed. Our uh, glory to God. Then he lifted up his eyes towards his disciple and said, Blessed are you poor, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, glory to God. Uh, we go to the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 3, and it reads, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh, glory to God. Now, the word poor here carries uh, the implication of being a beggar. Uh, glory to God. I believe it's safe to say, in this case, a spiritual beggar who is hungry for the spirit of God. Are you hungry for the spirit of God this afternoon? Uh, glory to God. One of the things we must understand about the anointing is that it can be uh, uh, sifted. It can be sifted, uh, glory to God, even. And how can this happen? If people refuse to receive it from the person God is sending it through, uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. You see, I could be an anointed vessel of God and God has called me to minister to you. God has called me to, to come to you and to proclaim liberty. But guess what? Uh, because you don't like me, uh, glory to God, because you can't embrace me, uh, glory to God, yes, you refuse to receive it, glory to God. And things such as pride and envy and bitterness and unforgiveness against an anointed person, uh, glory to God can prevent the receiving from ex the receiver sorry, from accepting it. Remember, you're anointed to heal the sick, but if you go to the sick and the sick has bitterness against you, unforgiveness against you, they're preventing uh, glory to God that healing flow uh, that would heal them. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. So again, we got to understand what does it mean to be anointed. In the book of Matthew, chapter 13, and verse 57 to 58, so they offended him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without 
honor, except in his own country and his, in his own house. And he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. There's many of us who God has anointed and send us to places. But guess what? Uh, go to God. Uh, people don't believe in us, maybe because what they know. Uh, they don't see us have been anointed because of what they think. Uh, glory to God. But again, at the end of the day, uh, glory to God. Do you know why you're anointed and who anointed you? Uh, glory to God. You see, one of the things I understand is that every person, uh, glory to God, every believer should have a job description. Do you know your job description as a believer? Uh, do you know your job description as a kingdom citizen? Uh, glory to God. Here's a job description of those who have been anointed by God. This is it. One, they went about doing good, glory to God. Two, healing the oppressed. Three, because God was with him, uh, glory to God. This is a description that Jesus Christ carried. And we are anointed by the same spirit, uh, glory to God, and the same power that Jesus was anointed by. We bless the name of the Lord, glory to God. So then if we are anointed the same spirit, uh, glory to God, then what is it that you are doing, uh, glory to God? What are you doing with that anointing? You say that you're anointing to do what? Uh, glory to God. We're going to get into this because we've got to understand that when God has called you and when God has anointed you, you have been set apart for his service. The anointing uh, doesn't belong to you. It belongs to him. And he's anointed you for a specific task. Uh, glory to God. To be anointed. Uh, glory to God. You know, uh, back then it's like a smear. Uh, you understand? Or a uh, set apart for service. That means he's pulled you out. Uh, glory to God. He's took you out from amongst them. He sets you apart. Uh, glory to God. He's pulled us out of our own life. Uh, glory to God. So I want to encourage somebody tonight that you were pulled by God and set apart. You have been chosen by God to live a pure life. Uh, when you say that you're anointed by God, you can't live any and any oh. You can't jack up any and any oh. You can't dress any and any oh. Nowadays, uh, you can't even tell, uh, you know, some anointed woman when you see them, they say they're anointed by God. And when you see them dress you for wonder, uh, you understand, cleaver just sure. Uh, this is show sure, all sorts of things. I uh, sure nothing is hiding. I uh, glory to God. You can't say God has called you out of your own life. You can't say God has set you apart for his service and he's anointed you, but yet still, we can't even identify you from those who are not anointed because you look the same. Come on. The anointing comes to make a difference. Uh, the anointing comes with a different sense of aroma. I uh, glory to God. The anointing holds you together and make you look different and, and, and sets you up part we bless the name of the lord our glory to god so if we're anointed by god we're anointed to live a pure life the bible says we ought to be holy as he is holy uh we bless the name of the lord <coughs> Glory to God. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, you understand? So we can't say uh, that we've been consecrated by God. Yet say we're living any and any how. You can't say you're consecrated by God and you're still a fornicate. You can't say you're consecrated by God. You understand? You're still a do adultery. You lie, you teeth. We know that it's a process to this thing. But there comes a time, good God Almighty, that you got to set yourself apart. There comes a time when you said, no, man. Uh, yes, because guess what? When we refuse to come come out from amongst them. When we refuse to be separated, <coughs> sorry, when we continue, our uh, glory to God, to come in and start living in your home, that's when the anointing becomes contaminated. That's when dead flies. And many of us are anointed, yes, but dead flies uh, is in our anointing. And when dead flies in your anointing, it pollutes the atmosphere. When you open your mouth, uh, uh, come on, somebody. Uh, God has called you. He's anointed you. He set you apart. Gird up your loins. Come out from amongst them, uh, glory to God. Uh, stop dwelling in a tent of wickedness and backbiting. Be there to be different. Uh, the anointing sets you apart. Uh, glory to God. <coughs> 
when you're anointed by God, you understand? You can't do as others do. And the thing about us, we're afraid to be different. We're afraid because guess what? I don't want so-and-so to say this or, or think this of me, I glory to God. I would rather, I glory to God, maintain the anointing than corrupt it just to please a group of people or just to please people. No, I glory to God. When we're anointed by God, we can't do as others do, I glory to God. We can't double, we can't go over your man. We can't go to rum bar, I glory to God. We can't be dabbling in certain things. Come on, somebody, because you've been anointed for service we bless the name of the lord god has pulled you out of the darkness into the light for his purpose you have been chosen anointed to bring about change you can't say you're anointed and everywhere you go you understand you cause havoc everywhere you go you cause mix up you understand you don't bring about no change you can't tell me that you're an anointed man of god and everything is negativity you understand you walk into an area or something and you cause more damage come on somebody no we are anointed to make a difference to bring about change not to be a part of the problem we bless the name of the Lord. I want to let us know uh, when we say that we're anointed, I uh, glory to God. It means that we are not only called to listen to Jesus Christ, but we're called to apply his teachings to our lives. Uh, you can't say that you're anointed and uh, you're not reading the Bible. You can't say you're anointed, you're not fasting. You can't say you're anointed and uh, you're not fellowship with the brethren. Come on, somebody. If you're anointed by God, uh, yes, you're called to apply the teachings of the word. Uh, the Bible says that man and ought not to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Let me tell you something. It's one thing to be anointed, but it's another thing to maintain it. Another thing to keep it from being contaminated and polluted. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. I asked a question tonight. You say you're anointed to do what? What is the proof that you're anointed? What is a sign that you carry that you're anointed? You see, many of us just talk, 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 and that's about it. But our lives are not lined up with what we're saying. Remember, I said, uh, to be anointing means we come in alignment with the teachings of Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit. We need to stop playing with strange fire. You can't say that you're anointed by God and you're playing with strange fire. You're going to get burned. Ah, glory to God. Lord, help me to discern between good and evil. Glory to God. If you're set apart for God, you can't just give uh, and live your life any anyhow, as I said. Oh, come on, somebody. Glory to God. Let us speak the truth and shame the devil. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Many times we say that we're anointed. There's a famous scripture, and I want you to go there in your own timing, but I'm going to touch on 12 truths about the anointing from the book of 1 Samuel and verse 16. We bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you for those of you who are joining me tonight. Again, at all protocols we established, I'm really not uh, focusing on the chat right now. Uh, we bless the Lord. But welcome, uh, glory God. I want to talk about 12 truths about the anointing. This is the part of scripture, 1 Samuel 16, uh, glory to God, where David is being anointed as king, glory to God. Right now, he is a shepherd, uh, glory to God. Yeah, he is a shepherd and he's serving. But God was about to raise him to another level. We bless the name of the Lord. I want to encourage somebody tonight. Yeah, you've been serving God on the backside. Nobody sees you. Nobody hears about you. But I want to let somebody know tonight that God is about to raise you to a different level. Ah, oh, glory to God. But you must grow in the anointing. You see, some people say they're anointed, but they're not grow. They become stagnant. Ah, oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. In verse 1 of, of um, 1 Samuel 16, read it in your own timing. Saul 
was, you can read verse one, but Saul was rejected by God. We know that. Saul was anointed and called by God, but was removed because of pride and disobedience. Many of us say that we're anointed by God, but guess what? Not because you're anointed by God doesn't mean that you can be rejected. You cannot be rejected after. Glory to God. Because yes, Saul was once anointed. He was called by God, but guess what? He was removed because of pride and disobedient. Some of us think because God called me and he anointed me. Oh yeah, I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, it's all about me, but hello, uh, glory to God. Be careful because guess what? Just like how he anointed, he can reject you. Be careful when you're anointed, you don't let pride and arrogance get in the way until you start to disobey God, until you start to use the anointing for your own gain. It doesn't belong to you. It's been given to us for service unto the Lord. Saul was positioned by God, but then removed. Come on, somebody, you know the story. Glory to God. Again, I want to say this. The anointing comes from God. We bless the name of the Lord. Who does it come from? The anointing comes from God. And you know, this might sound trivial, but sometimes believers forget. And many of us try to anoint ourselves or try to proclaim something that's not on our life. So many of us are trying to say that we're anointed, our glory to God. We're trying to proclaim something that's not on our lives and try to work our way uh, through carnal actions, our glory to God. Some of us even try uh, to work our way through fleshy action by trying to get the position that God has for us. We bless the name of the Lord. But as I said, and I'll say it again, it is God who anoints kings. It is God who anoints pastors and evangelists, just to name a few. It is him who anoints. God is the one that places the anointing on our lives. And because he's the one that has placed the anointing on our lives, our glory to God, he's the only one that can remove it. Oh, we bless him. Couldn't you imagine if God had given man the ability to anoint some of us? When them vexed with us, they would have taken it back. They would have removed it. The minute we and them clash, or the minute uh, you know we say something that they don't like, you understand, they will take it back. But I give God thanks, especially for me. That is God never give no man the ability to anoint me because guess what? They would have taken it back a long time. Glory to God. But I thank him that he's the one that anoints us, and he's the one that will remove it. As we saw what he did with Saul, we bless the name of the Lord. Saul did not receive the anointing from a man. Even though the children of Israel, glory to God, cried out for a king. It was God who said, Saul, I am going to place you as a king. And it was God who anointed Saul uh, to carry the anointing to lead the children of Israel. And it was the same God who also rejected Saul. Oh, glory to God. And the same God who said, I'm going to anoint David. We bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody, let's give God praise. The topic tonight is to be anointed. Why are you anointed? You're anointed. You understand? But why? Do you know why you're anointed? Do you know why you're saying you're anointed? I want to let somebody know this. When God is, you see, I just thank God that he's not like man. When God is going to anoint somebody, there's a certain characteristic he looks for before he anoints someone. Yep, glory to God. There's a certain discipline we must have in our lives before God will take us from one level to the next. You see, some of us really take God for prick, you know, uh, you know, I don't know what that word means, but you know, I hear them use it. We, I wonder if we 
really know who God is. Uh, glory to God. Because I think sometimes we just think God really just look at our mess. And listen, God looks for certain discipline, characteristics. Uh, glory to God. Before he anoints. We bless the name of the Lord. So yes, we are anointed. You're saying some of us are working in ministry like myself. Some of us share the gospel, uh, you know, for those things uh, God has anointed us to do. Uh, glory to God. God allows us to grow also in the anointing. We bless the name of the Lord. So guess what? It's now time for David uh, to go from shepherding to leading the people of Israel. Glory to God. And God is about to anoint him for that. And Saul was being removed. So what am I saying? God is one who will raise one up and he's one who will take another down. We bless the name of the Lord. One thing I want to encourage somebody under the sound of my voice. You might be saying, you know what, Vivian, uh, glory to God, how could God anoint me? I'm not even educated. I cannot read. I want to let you know that before, oh God Almighty, listen, I said before, the anointing doesn't come through education. Uh, glory to God, it comes through impartation. So all of you who are run down Bible college, all of you who are run down degree, and all these big titles thinking that you're going to get anointing because of that i'm here to burst your bubble it does not come through the education uh, the anointing comes through impartation and the only person can do that is a sovereign god almighty uh, glory to God. So for the uneducated, yes, uh, God can anoint you uh, for his service. Uh, glory to God. He can anoint you uh, to preach the gospel, uh, yes, to the poor, to proclaim liberty to those who are captive. Uh, glory to God. Because guess what? It's through impartation. We bless the name of the Lord. I want to let us know, too, that nobody can go to Bible college and receive the anointing. Ah, uh, glory to God. The anointing is not man's to give. Your pastor cannot give you the anointing. Your bishop cannot give you the anointing. We bless the name of the Lord. For it is God who decides who gets the anointing. It is God who's, uh, who knows who's next in line. And, and the thing about this, why we're so messed up in the body of Christ, because we think that we have the power to raise people up in position. We think that we're the one that anoints people. And some of us have anointed some devils. Uh, some of us have, have ordained some witches and lay hands upon them. I go to God and thinking that they're anointed. The devil is a liar. You just anointed a demon. I go to God to destroy and raise havoc in your church. Wait upon the Lord. Let him our glory to God, choose our glory to God. And if you read, oh, come on, somebody, uh, you know, the book of Samuel, our glory to God, look what could have happened if that man had anointed that first son. Uh, God said, hold up, boy. Uh, yes, don't watch the outside. I know the heart of that one. He is not the one. A lot of us don't want to wait until God shows us the right one and says, this is the one that I've chosen, not you who have chosen them. We bless the name of the Lord. We got to understand, hallelujah, that it's God who raises people uh, in place of leadership, not man. And that's why we have a problem. That's why we have so much bitterness. Uh, glory to God, because uh, we're not putting people in position uh, based on uh, the qualification that God has laid out. Uh, or we're not listening to him. We put people in position based on their tithes, uh, based on what we think they look like. They're brown. Uh, yes, and they're that and they're this. But God is saying, I didn't not choose that one we bless the name of the lord and so the lord selected david and the lord uh yes and the lord also selected saul but saul is in a place now where he wasn't doing what the lord led him to do 
Ah, uh, glory to God. So yes, many of us are called by God. Yes, many of us were anointed. But guess what? We allowed pride and arrogance. Uh, so now what? God anointed you to go feed the poor. You decided you don't want to feed the poor. Ah, uh, glory to God. You want to go do something else. Uh, yes, and God said, hold up a second. Uh, that's not why I anointed you. You know business about that because you believe uh, like once anointed would always be anointed. Guess what? The devil is a liar. Uh, that is not so because God is not a to remove you, our glory to God. Many persons, the anointing is already lifted off of them lives. I can tell you that. Our glory to God. A lot of people, a lot of us who say we're preaching the gospel and we're anointed. Listen, no anointing, not that. God already lifted up. Guess what? You're only functioning on your gifts. Oh, come on, somebody. Because the gift and the call is our repentance. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, come on, somebody. Uh, we bless God. Again, the number one thing I want us to understand is that the anointing comes from God. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. Also, number two, we bless the Lord. The anointing comes upon the humble Oh, good God Almighty. Come on, somebody. The anointing comes upon the humble. We bless. Are you humble? Are you full of pride? We bless the name of the Lord. I want us to go to the book of, because I like to go to the Bible in case anybody says, you know, me just a talker from my head. Uh, glory to God, indulge me to go to the book of uh, James, uh, glory to God, the fourth chapter and verse six. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Yes. And he gives and he gives grace. Uh, glory to God. Uh, yes. Generously, as the scripture says, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Uh, glory to God. Yes. So guess what? Uh, the anointing comes upon the humble. Are you humble? Are you full of pride and you say anointed? Oh, good God Almighty, you know you're full of pride, you're full of arrogance, nobody can talk to you, and nobody can, nobody can touch you, they can't even embrace it, because what, you, because you think you're anointed, oh, that anointed man of God, oh, don't touch him, ah, uh, yes, you, you gotta be careful, walk six feet, walk ten feet, the devil is a liar, glory to God, God does not anoint the proud, God rejects those who are full of pride, uh, glory to God, when you're anointed by God, you say, you understand? You don't think too much of yourself. Some of us think of ourselves. We just follow self. Uh, glory to God. Every time we open our mouth, uh, it's about ourselves. You're not anointed yet. <coughs> Get rid of the pride. Uh, glory to God. Yes. I want to tell somebody. When you're anointed by God, Lord to God, the anointing is unstoppable. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. The anointing brings exposure. And that's why when you know who you are in God and you know that you're anointed by you don't have to worry yourself. Uh, glory to God. When you're anointed by God, you know, you know, if you treat people bad or, or, or you know, tell life, forget exposure or do no, no, no. The anointing will bring exposure. Glory to God. The anointing comes upon the pure in heart. When needs be, the anointing will hide you. We bless the name of the Lord. The anointing that God has upon each in our lives, it's unique to us. That's why we got to be ourselves. Try, stop trying to be somebody else. Stop trying to be a copycat. Stop trying to sound like everybody is sound like yourself. Be yourself, just like yourself, because the anointing is unique to you. We bless the name of the Lord. The anointing comes upon servants. Yes. Come on, somebody. The anointing brings position. And one thing I can tell you about the anointing, it attracts key people to our lives. Come on, somebody. The anointing sets people free. 
So I ask the question again, are you anointed? And if you are, to do what? What are you anointed to do? I wanna let you know, the Holy Spirit is your qualification for ministry. Somebody asks you, what's your qualification for ministry? The Holy Spirit is your qualification for ministry. And I'm gonna end here tonight at this point. One of the things I want to let us know is we end on this point and we'll pick it up the next time. You can serve without being humble, but you can't be humble without serving. I want to repeat that again. You can serve without being humble, but you can't be humble without serving. God will put us in places to test us. Mm -hmm. Because God processes every one of us through service. First comes the service, then the promotion. Many of us don't want to serve, but we want the promotion. Just think about David. David served a king before he became a king. David knew he was anointed, but he still served. We bless the name of the Lord. So I just wanna encourage us this evening. It's one thing to say that we're anointed. But the question that we have to ask ourselves, anointed to do what? Yeah. What are you anointed to do? Yeah. Another question that we need to ask ourselves, have I allowed dead flies to contaminate the anointing? Again, to be anointed, to do what? The anointing is given to preach the gospel to the poor. The anointing is given to heal and restore people. I want you to listen to this carefully. If you realize what I'm saying, there's no, none of these points that it's geared towards us. Like, okay, the anointing is given to me to gain wealth. The anointing is given to me to succeed in my education. Listen, the anointing is given to preach the gospel to the poor. The anointing is given to heal and restore people. The anointing is given to proclaim freedom to the captives. You see, but guess what? We use the anointing and we want to turn it in to benefit ourselves. It was not given to us to deal with ourselves, but to be external with it. The anointing is given to open blinded eyes. Come on, somebody. So I trust this evening that you will examine yourself, you know, and you'll ask your question, yourself the question, am I really anointed? Yeah. And what am I anointed to do? The anointing is for God's service, for the assignment, yes, that he has given to us. And that's why we need to know the assignment. That's why we need to know why we're here. That's why we need to know, uh, glory to God, because that anointing is unique to you. It's unique to the purpose for which God created you and for the assignment. Jesus Christ was anointed to carry out the task. He was anointed to bear you and I and the entire human race carry our sin. 
He was anointed to endure the cross. Oh yeah. He was anointed to raise the dead. He was anointed to open the eyes of the blind. He was anointed to deliver those who were demon possessed. Some of us want to go and say we are God people also to go cast out demon. Have you been anointed to do that? Oh, because you see, somebody is anointed to do that. You think because you're anointed by God, but do you have the measure of anointing to do that? Come on, somebody. The anointing is for you, unique to you. Don't do what the anointing upon your life cannot sustain you to do. And that's why we can't pretend to be people or try to be somebody else. You have some anointed prayer warriors. When them start prayer, your demon come out from wall and run like teeth. Because guess what? Everybody could pray, but some people are anointed specifically for certain things. So don't get jealous because you're not the one that's casting a demon. Find out what you're anointed to do. And do it to the glory of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Let's not get the gifts and the anointing mix up. Because some people are gifted, but they're not anointed. But guess what? You can't be anointed and not gifted. We bless the name of the Lord. Again, make sure. We say that we're anointed. Make sure our lives are in alignment with the teachings of Jesus Christ and with the Holy Spirit. You can't, we can't say that we're anointed and we're not praying. We can't say that we're anointed and we're not connected to the source. We can't say that we're anointed and we're not obedient. We can't say we're anointed and we're full of pride and bitterness and envy. It doesn't mix. We bless the name of the Lord. Remember in closing, God anoints people that love him more than they love their own life and love others as themselves. So you can't say you're anointed and called by God and you don't love people. So let every man examine themselves when we go around and say we're anointed women and men of God. Really? What's the proof in the pudding to that? We bless the Lord. Glory to God. God is an awesome God. And I just thank him this evening. Yeah, for the word. To be anointed is one thing. To maintain it it's another thing. And we got to guard it. Yes. Guard it from dead flies. That will contaminate the anointing. You want me to let you know a sign of someone and go and read, uh, you know, in, in, in 1 Samuel 16 and on. You want to know the sign of a leader who was once anointed and God was using that person for the glory. And when the anointing is lifted, you know what some of the signs you can tell that that anointing is lifted? The person then becomes a manipulator. Yeah. They start to manipulate people. 
that's a sign that guess what? The anointing is lifted. When the person opens their mouth, instead of a sweet smelling aroma is coming out, there's a stench. Because guess what? There's dead flies there. So when they open their mouth, instead of that sweet aroma, our glory to God, you hear bitterness, you hear anger. Yeah. When the anointing is lifted, you try to maintain your position. But I want to let us know our gift could only carry us so far. But it's the anointing that will carry us all the way. Have you ever listened to some gifted preachers, some gifted singers? Sorry. But there's no anointing. They're versed in scripture, know they're Greek. But just dry. Yeah. I want to encourage somebody. You know that you're anointed by God. You know that God has chosen you. Be like David. Humble yourself. Continue to serve because guess what? Your time is coming. Yep, he's about to raise you up. I always say this. Be humble as the number one person. You might be seated in a number two position right now, but God is about uh, to flip the switch. He is about to remove the appointed ones. Many persons have been appointed, but not anointed. So we have a whole lot of appointed people, appointed this, appointed that, appointed all these things. But in this season, for what God is about to do, it's the anointed ones that he is going to be putting in place. So be patient. Wait a second. Because the shift, the switch is about to flip over where the anointed ones will be the one that's carrying the rain. And the appointed ones will be the one that is sitting down. So continue to serve like David. Look how long he served before he finally took the rain. Guard it with all diligence. Glory to God. Wait upon the Lord because what is yours will be yours. Uh, glory to God. Continue to trust and continue to believe. And remember, the anointing will set you apart. Our glory to God. When you're anointed by God, trust me, you're not that popular, you know. Yeah, trust me, you're not that popular. When you're anointed by God, you might not be that yes person all the time. You know, people not, might not want to be around you because you're different. The anointing makes a difference. How we bless the name of the Lord. So dare to be different for God. Yeah. Dare to be different. Again, as I said, it's one thing to be anointed, but then also we got to maintain it. And how do you maintain the anointing? By studying the word, by staying connected. You know how you maintain the anointing upon your life? By planting yourself by the riverbank of water. What am I trying to say? Make sure that those who you're in fellowship with are word people. Yep, they're word people. You understand? They're not gossipers and they're not backbiters and they're not haters. You can't be anointed and you plant yourself with haters and hypocrites and all them something. No, those are will allow dead flies to contaminate your oil. Come on, somebody. Yes, when you're anointed by God, you're misunderstood most of the times. 
Why does she behave like that? Why does she do this? She act like she's better than me. She, no, 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 I'm not better than you. I'm just different. I'm not, I'm not a full of pride because I'm anointed. I'm just confident now. You see, some people don't want us to get to understand and, and, you know, really embrace that we're anointed by God, because guess what? They don't want us to get to the place of confidence. So they mix up confident with pride. No, I'm not full of pride. I'm just confident in who I am now. I'm confident in the person God has called me to be. I'm confident in the God who restored me. I'm confident in the God who called me. I'm confident in the God. Come on, somebody. It's not pride. I'm not full of pride. And oh, Vivian is boastful now. And she thinks, she's arrived no honey i'm i'm not arrived i'm just confident now oh yes so don't get it twisted with pride we bless the name of the lord so be confident and trust god lift up your head high we bless the name of the lord because guess what god is about to elevate you and the world will see and remember it is he who anoints you, and it's also he who could remove that anointing. So walk in obedience, live holy, love people, love God. You understand? And watch God do the rest. Wow. Uh, yes, we're going home. Uh, we bless the Lord tonight, yes. Uh, not me. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm forget about I'm not doing that. But... Uh, we give God thanks tonight. I will continue to serve my God. I have made up my mind to make Jesus my choice. He is my choice. You know the road is and the going is and the hills. I we bless the Lord tonight. I started out a long time ago. Uh, we bless on him and we glorify him. Hallelujah uh, to the Lamb of God. Yes, we bless on him. I am wearing. Uh, we give God thanks. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I've decided to make Jesus my choice uh, tonight. Uh, glory to God. If I must say so myself, I've been truly blessed. Uh, glory to God. And I'm trusting that you are blessed too. Uh, we bless in the name of the Lord. So the next time somebody asks you, what are you anointed to do? Make sure that you can give them an answer. Glory to God. And again, as I said, it's one thing to be anointed but you got to maintain it. So watch your circle. Watch those who uh, you join with. Make sure that you're planted. Remember the scripture in Psalms 1 that says, uh, blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, glory to God, or stand in the ways of sinners, or sit in the seats of those scornful, uh, glory to God. We got to be planted by the waters. 
water represents the word. So make sure wherever you plant yourself, it is the word is there. Whether your colleagues, whether your church, make sure because your roots will draw in that water. Out we bless the name of the Lord to maintain that anointing. You maintain it by fasting regularly. You maintain it by meditating regularly, fellowshipping with believers. Glory to God. Yes, be mindful of your conversation. Because uh, when you start, when you're anointed enough, you can't eat in it. Ah, oh God, Holy Ghost, help me. Yes, some of us who say we're anointed, stop walk both at every restaurant and eat. Yes, some of us who say we're anointing, we do a licky licky everywhere you go, you eat, you eat this, you eat this. And no, when you're anointed by God, you got to be careful where you go to eat. Because not everything agree with you. Come on, somebody, read between the lines. Use your, lose your ears, hear what I'm saying. What is what the Lord is saying? When you're anointed by God, it's not every jump knock. And every prophet coming and telling you for God. Come on, somebody. Know yourself. Come on. The anointing comes with discernment, revelation, knowledge, and truth. Come on. When God sets you apart, come out from amongst them. Come out from amongst them. Could be some Christian people too, because God know them out. I'm telling you, it's that's why you know people have to understand. You understand when you're anointed by God, it's a lonely road, you know. You're not popular, you know, and you can't force yourself in because you're called to be different, you're called to stand out. When you're anointed and chosen by God, you can't love too much company. My mother would have said, and every drum knock you run, go, you're just inner people. No. I the, the, remember, the anointing brings you out, it separates you for a service. Oh, yeah. So when you're anointed, look where you're going to eat from. Come on, somebody. People might say, oh, you know, uh, she doesn't come here. She, it's not that, honey, it's not that I don't want to come there. But guess what? Uh, you understand? It depends on what's being served because I am set apart for God. There's certain things I cannot eat. There's certain things that, that, that will go against. Uh, come on, good God, help me, Holy Ghost. There's certain things that will come against my digestive system that it's not right. <coughs> come on, somebody. Just like how when, you know, people go to the doctor and they test them for certain uh, allergies. Some people might be allergic to some kind of nuts. Some people are allergic to milk. Some people are allergic to this. When you're anointed and set apart by God, yes, you got to be careful because guess what? Your system is now built different. Everything not agree with you. Everything not supposed to settle with you. And that's why when you're anointed by God, you're full of the Holy Spirit. That's why I ask the question, our glory to God, have you received the Holy Spirit and power? Because when you're anointed by God and you're filled with the Holy Spirit and something comes, uh, yes, it take up residue, the Holy Spirit will reject it. That's why some of us will go to certain churches and certain meetings and we sit down there and we cannot receive the Holy Spirit. It's just rejected. That's not me. Uh, yes, Samuel, hold up a second. Uh, yes, I reject that one. I reject that one. I reject that one. One. Don't look at the altar for seed. Don't even listen to the words because I know the heart. Come on. The Holy Spirit is like our metal detector when you're anointed by God. Yes. Oh, come on, somebody. When you're anointed by God and you're going to certain regions, you understand? You know, when they're looking for, um, you know, they have the metal detector and they might look for certain things under the ground and then go over. They say, yeah, beep, 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 beep. Trust me, man. When you're anointed by God and you're full of the Holy Ghost and you've got some place, you just say, beep, 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 The Holy Spirit, beep, 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 beep. No, 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 no. Right, that's right, that's right. That's. Come on. I'll go to God. So you can't be blind and you can't live any, any, any. Oh, uh, yes, the devil can't have nothing you when you're anointed no we bless the lord oh god we're going home it's not another message 
It's just a little bit of the, you know, what's left. Come on. So again, be careful where you're going when you're anointed. Be careful who is speaking into your life. Come on, somebody. Be careful who you're listening to. Come on. Got to be careful. Uh, glory to God. So again, we bless the Lord tonight. My God, what a night has been. We give God all the glory. Father God, I give you the praise tonight. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, glory to God, just for ministering to your people. I thank you for ministering to me uh, to let me know how important it is to guard uh, the anointing. Help us to guard it, Father God. Help us to live it. Uh, glory. Help us to be list to listen. Help us to uh, come in alignment uh, with your teachings. Uh, yes, and that of the Holy Spirit. Uh, glory to God. Help us, Almighty God, remove pride and arrogance. Let there be no bitterness. Let there be no dead flowers. Father God, if dead flies have contaminated our anointing, empty us of those dead flies and fill us up again, Father God, that we'll be able to go out and preach uh, the gospel, uh, glory to God, to open the eyes of the blind, oh, glory to God. We thank you. We thank the Lord tonight. And I pray tonight, if you're not saved, uh, glory to God. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, I pray tonight that you'll accept him as your Lord and Savior. Uh, glory to God. Because guess what? He also has a work for you to do. And there's an anointing, uh, yes, that is to be released and to be tapped into for you to complete that service. It's by reason of the anointing that yokes are destroyed. We bless the name of the Lord. So I want to thank each and every one of you on behalf of Minister Michelle, the entire Real Talk community. I thank you. It was such a privilege of serving you with clean hands, a pure heart, and a right motive this evening. I was truly blessed. I felt like I went to a service. Uh, yes, listening to my own self, and I'm just that you were blessed as well. God is a good God. Continue to trust him. Continue to wait upon him. Uh, yes, continue to have that desire to please him. And remember, for all of you who are anointed, remember why you're anointed. Uh, glory to God. Yes, continue to maintain it and check yourself in. Check up on yourself every now and then. Uh, glory to God. Just like how we go to the doctor for a checkup, check up on yourself. Uh, glory to God. Just in case anything happens, you deal with it quickly. Uh, glory to God. Yes. So we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, wherever you are around the world, remember, uh, yes, that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Remember, you're the heart of a champion, the mind of an overcomer, the spirit of more than a conqueror, because greater is he that is within you than he that is in the world. Remember, you are a lit candle. Go out and light your world. World. And pre adventure, you wonder if anybody loves you. I could tell you of a man that does, glory to God. He loves you more than anything and anyone could love you. And that's Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He laid down his life for you. I trust that you will allow him uh, to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Oh, we bless the name of the Lord, that you'll give him a chance. You've tried everything else and it didn't work. You tried everything else and you still feel empty. You tried everything else and you're still thirsty. Well, guess what? He is the only person that can fill that void. He is the only person that can quench that thirst, our uh, glory to God. And not just quench that thirst, but place that living water inside of you that you'll never our thirst again, uh, glory to God. So give him a chance today, all right? All you got to do is confess, acknowledge, repent, and ask him to turn, and that's all you need to do, uh, glory to God, and he will do the rest, all right? So God bless you, God keep you again. It was a privilege serving you with clean hands and a pure heart and a right motive. Wherever you are around the world, grace, peace, and mercy be unto each and every one of you. Nothing lacking, nothing broken. Again, it was my privilege serving you. Uh, God's willing, we'll see you right here tomorrow, bright and early, for rise and shine. Keep it locked. Good night to the entire world.